back, everyone, to this latest session of the Mistaken, our Curse of Strahd group. Well, Mistaken plus one, I suppose, is perhaps the true name of the group now, because one of the group isn't Mistaken. But on... Um, she is but mistaken. On, um, mistaken and co. No, she just makes mistakes. <laughs> she's she's misborn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh dear! Born oh, again. This? Loving the reference. So oh, yes. On on the last episode, um, the party successfully cleared out the Wizard of Wine's winery, capturing one of the druids, and the druid has dropped some strange references in rhyme, speaking of um a being beloved of Mother Night that sees what has and will be, um, and all sorts of things. And it's also said that they would they targeted the winery because of their greed at stealing something, an ancient seed. And Davian Martikov is about to explain that. <laughs> right. It seems that this Druid has let the cat out the bag, but I was going to tell you anyway, so ha, you're not revealing anything, so screw you and you're trying to get us in trouble. I'm going to tell him anyway. So, um, how much do you guys know about the history of Barovia? I would imagine not much, except maybe you, points to cut you. You might know. Probably not, but you might. She, she knows a lot of Barovian history. So, what do you know about the times before Strahd? Uh, we actually might have real information on that. Can I, I'm guessing, can I make a history check? You can. Okay. Can we make history checks? Can we the make a history check? Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> <in this> case, <laughs> because of things. Times before this Strahd. Is... <laughs> Times before Strahd in Barovia specifically, which you guys yeah. wouldn't know because Barovia of didn't reasons. exist when we lived. Oh, yeah. Gosh. So, yes, Katya, you can roll me I a history check. Okay. I'm trying to. I, God, I'm trying. It's. <laughs> I'm trying to. Foundry is being a little difficult with me right this moment. So I'm. I. I, I would love to. How dare? <laughs> yes. How dare it be? How, how dare we have technical difficulties? The lion, the witch. I'm honestly, the I'm honestly hoping speech. you don't know because I really want to go on a long dramatic speech about the ancient past, but you know. Yeah, go for it. We'll see. Because go for it. Just explain for us. <laughs> right. Well, I am sure anyone who has spent any time in Barovia has heard the. Phrase, he is ancient, he is the land. Yes. Well, that it hasn't always been the case. You see, Strahd became the land. And he became the land by taking things from those who were the land, <laughs> if that makes sense. A long time ago, there were three fanes, three... Well, I see a roll, and it was a good roll, but... Yeah. The three <laughs> fanes, Archfey of Ancient Power, the Fane of the Mountain, the Fane of the Swamp, and... Oh, God, what's the third one? I always forget the third one. Um... Ah, uh, brain. The fields? And the Fane of the Forest. That's the one. Oh. How, how did I forget that? Yes. And these Fanes were worshipped by the Druids and other ancient cultures of this land. For to worship them was to worship the land themselves. And Strahd, when he arrived, he stole that power, corrupted it, and twisted it 
but some of that power still remains in the form of three magical seeds. One red, one blue, one green. Each of them with their own unique properties, and each of them which was thought lost until we found one and used its power to allow our crops to grow so that we could sell the wine and bring some hope and prosperity to Barovia. Until these lot came along and stole it. Mm. And he just sort of glares and the druid goes, You cannot steal, steal what was always yours. We only took back what was ours. Eh, not rhyming so much today, are you? You've run out of rhymes. That's what's happened. Ah, knew you were pulling on an act. Well, as for the other two, um, we did, we have searched for them, but we don't know where they are. However, it is believed that should these, um, seeds, all three, be returned to their rightful places, then Strahd will no longer be as tied to the land as he was before, and he will actually be weakened, more vulnerable. It is said that from the fanes, his skin became hard as mountains, able to withstand intense heat and the very thunderbolts of the heavens, so even the gods themselves could not strike him down. Or so the rumours say. I mean, we not have really... we have seen him in person, and sure, he may be as powerful as the rumours may say, but isn't it a little far-fetched? I mean, Every man we did must see him... weakness, after all. I mean, he does have his weakness, which is why we're in a land perpetually surrounded by mists. Because, you know... The sunlight. The sun's... Yeah. But, uh... Not an easy one to come by, um, unfortunately. Uh... So yeah. You're... So you're saying this druid, uh, likely knows where the others kept or took the seed? Um, it's possible. Um, yeah, he probably knows where they took that seed, as for where the other two are. That's not clear, but yeah. Wait, they took the seed from here, so they yeah. were looking for something else when we found them? I would guess so, maybe some other secret that we keep, but I can't think what it could be. Nope, not at all. Hmm. Maybe how we keep the wine inside? cold, but that's just um, a, that's just. See, can I inside, inside that? Yeah, I want to inside that as well. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. He what? honestly seems um fairly legitimate um like what? he's not sure what else they could be looking for he goes the only thing the only other real secret here is uh, i mean probably um how we keep the wine at an appropriate temperature whilst it's stored here for so long because it's not like we have magical powers to keep it cold is that the mold yes yes we have a we have a room full of brown mold that um, releases a cool aura, which keeps everything just at the right temperature. Mm -hmm. uh, very dangerous, but you know, it works. Will, uh, open his uh, his blacksmithing bag as this druid is sort of like sitting next to us and go and start pulling out like a like a set of uh, pliers and look to greet and go. How long do you think it would take for this druid to tell us where the seed is? How long? Well, How many? Quick enough. How many druids would it take? No. How, how many, many teeth? <laughs> Very apt, Octavian. It depends on how slow you pick them. I, I look towards the druid and I like raise an eyebrow. 
you can roll me an intimidation check, I guess. Can I assist on that? I was going to say... Sort of looming yeah, yeah. over yeah, You can have advantage on this check. Sure. He sort of go, actually, you know what, I'm going to give him wisdom to save, see if he's brave. Brave Druid. It's just like... Do you I really have you, to be difficult? I fear you not, for the Queen will save my soul from rot. Or you could just tell us exactly what we need to know, and... I am going to cast bucket command. Why not? Oh, uh, or suggestion. Sorry. Yeah, target him and cast suggestion. Oh, uh, where is he? There he is. Boink. I think you better just tell us what we need to know, and we can be on our way. Ooh. He fails and goes. Uh, right you are. Right you are. Um, I guess I'll tell you exactly what you want to know. So, um, to the south of here is an ancient druidic um, ritual site known as Yester Hill. My brethren have taken the seed there in order to... He thinks for a moment how to explain it in order to awaken the land there. Really? And possibly empower the golfiest tree that's near there. I'm not sure on that one. They, they don't tell me everything. I wasn't the one in charge. I was just, you know, kind of flunky worshipper thing. Yeah. Um, what else do you need to know? Uh, Who's this woman? Oh, the queen. Yes. Oh, um, mm. he goes to speak, but, and you actually see his mouth move, but you hear no words. Something is stopping him from speaking. I attempt and, to read uh, his lips for what he says. You can try. What would I need as, to roll for that? I guess perception. Do we have observance? No, but that's a 24. <laughs> uh. Even with that, you get... You simply... As you're reading his lips, all you get is... The queen of the three. <laughs> three being the number three, not three as in the word three, but you know. Mm. So it's odd. Like, as you're perceiving him, it almost seems like he's saying something else, but when it gets to your eye and mind, it changes the words that you read on his lips. I'm going to pull out. We're winning and ask him to write it. He attempts to write it down, but you just see his hand just won't move as he with the quill. Seems the queen's name does not want to be spoken without her permission. Apologies. Can't really get around that one. Um Hmm. Where is she? she live... Swamp. It's a swamp. Wait, there's a swamp. Yes. In. Uh, do you have a map? I can probably point. Yes. I'll see if the thing will point me out, and I'll actually take you guys to the map. We do. Uh, whoever has the map, I think it. It's. Going to be it's either greed or it's you, Sigma. Yeah. Oh, so he actually, the um, sort of looks and goes, Oh, you've already got part of it mapped on the map. It's um, here. 
Old Barrow. How many mm. civilians have you and the other druids killed? Civilians? Um... What do we count as civilians? Non-combatant. Um... None? Uh, none that I'm aware of, anyway. Um, People that lived here before you looked for the seeds? Um, I mean, we mostly kept to ourselves to ourselves until we were ordered to um, take the seeds. Mm. Now, if I remember correctly, what they're doing at Yester Hill is in preparations for trying to reclaim another of the seeds. Where? Um, I don't know the name of the place that you um, city folk use, but it's um, the walled yes. city up to the north. I'll point to Kresk here. Yeah, that, that looks about right. Um, yeah, I think they're planning to... Well... Um, it was sort of going to be a double-edged attack. Um, we'd use the wine here as a bribe to um, open the gates and poison the guards, and then we'd get our attack going to... Because we'd need all the power we can get to take that place. Yes. And cool. is there a back entrance to Yester Hill, a place that only you druids know about? I mean, it's a hill. Fair. What, what <laughs> um, can you? What can you tell us about the lady at, or the person at Old Beres? Any anything else about her? Her abilities? Her appearance? She is the queen and is said to be as old as the land itself. Old and wrinkly, got it. Powerful. Second only perhaps to Strahd himself. And even that is debatable. Mm -hmm. Whereabouts in Old Brez does she reside? All over. Damn, okay. Her, her home does not stay in one place. It moves? Yes. How so? It walks. I mean, mm. Does well, this yeah. ring any bells? I mean... Oh, oh, have I heard about walking houses before? <laughs> I mean, you've probably heard of moving houses, but walking houses would probably be a new one to you. Um, okay. But you, uh, the monster hunters can perhaps roll a um, history check. Not religion or arcana? Arcana, you can probably get away with. What's the check again? Uh, it's Monster Hunters. Yeah. Oh, that's a no. No. Nope. Yeah, neither of the Monster Hunters know of this either. It's not something you've heard of. The only thing you can think of is that it's some form of powerful magic. Um. But, uh, yes. Okay. Would you mind sharing what your darkest secret is? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, let me think. Let me think. Um, darkest secret. I don't trust my Um, I tell me your deepest desire. I mean. <laughs> I what do you desire? Pissed in one of the, I pissed in one of the wine barrels. Um, Ew. <laughs> yeah. Please tell me it was the one with the uh, blight in it. 
no, what would be the point in that? And we were trying to poison the wine. I just thought I'd give it a bit of extra flavor. I'll put my mark on it. Which one? Uh, middle one. At least I know I start one, like... uh, ritually casting purify food and drink. Uh, it's gonna purify food and drink on all the wine barrels. Yeah. Um, the Davian hearing this, like, the poisoning was one thing that was making him twitch, but hearing this, he's just like, right, um, I'm about to kill a druid. And I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> hold, on, <laughs> hold on, old man, and I'll, I'll sort of. Hold on, old man, and I'll grab him by like, the scruff of his shirt to hold him back. Yep, yep. Let go of me, you big hippo man. I will literally pick him up off the floor by the back of his shirt. <laughs> you, you know, like yeah, how you do a toddler, just no. Fine. <laughs> just... <laughs> he just, well, he just turns into a raven and flies out your hand. Ah. Can you teach that? <laughs> what? Well, the ability that... to turn to a raven? No, that's a natural ability that me and my family possess. Mm. Um, if you ever um, learn, I mean, mm. you're quite a young-looking druid. You probably haven't yet learned how to turn into the beast of the air yet. No, I keep trying, and I get, like, half a wing, and it doesn't feel right. Yeah, uh, you'll need to get a bit stronger, but you'll manage it soon, I can tell. I've got an eye for these things. And if you ever want to learn about flying once you have, then, you know, you're welcome back, and we can teach you, like, some proper flying patterns. Sounds good to me. I've got two levels to go. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> is, there, is there anything else? Or um, uh, can I go, uh, kind of... Um... Uh, I think we'll look at the... Uh... Uh, at the Raven say, do you guys want to escort him to Velaki? Mm. Well, we've got a, a delivery of wine to go there. I mean, if you guys you guys wanted to um, get some wine for there, right? That's true. Uh, so if so you, we could you deal want with to... the hill first. Oh, uh, well, it takes a little while to prepare the wine, so you're welcome to go to the hill um, in that time, or um, I guess you could go to Kresk and warn them, possibly. Uh, uh, you'll probably need wine to get him there, because they're a bit stuck up. Who mm. is dad? Uh, other than that, um... I'll look towards the druid and go, is the attack on Kresk ongoing? Or were you preparing for it? They, well, they're performing a ritual at the hill. I don't know how far along that's got, because I'm not there. Mm. And that seems our most valuable... Misha? Uh, do we even have the time for Kresk? Really? I think the hill is more important, but we could... Yeah. We can probably flatten the hill in a moment's notice. That can uh, you send a message to Kresk that there is a druid situation? Um, yeah, I guess we can um, get a message there. More mobile than we. Yeah, we we can get a message there. Um, uh, we have an empty barrel. Yes. Oh, we have we need some place to put the prisoner while we're busy. Seems appropriate. 
is this big one here, this big fermenting cap. Yeah, I, I will. Uh, yeah, if it's if it's safe, like he's not going to drown or anything, I will put no, him in. It's empty. There, and I'll have, mm -hmm. I'll have them mm -hmm. uh, with just like a like making sure that there's a spot for some air, but literally, yeah. like, seal it up <laughs> over the top. Yeah. <laughs> Right, um, but I suppose before we go anywhere, I should um, give you some reward for what you've done. Uh, um, and one of the ravens, or a couple of the ravens, fly off and come back in human form carrying a chest. Oh. Oh. So, um,. Can't give you everything that's in here. This is kind of our um, stockpile of. Um... Wait, how many of there are you? There's one. There's five of you, right? Three, four. Uh, six if you're counting the beasts. Oh, this yeah, is just... beast. This is just yeah, a sibling. Uh... He was like petting it on the head as its flesh is like melt. <laughs> well, um. This should probably do, and he roots around in the chest and pulls out a gemstone for each of you worth 50 gold pieces. Thank you. Nice. Add that to your sheet. Yeah, you see you briefly, um, I would say probably those with a 15 or higher passive perception, which is at least Sigma and Octavian. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um... You see that the chest also has um, gold, electrum, silver, and you briefly see a golden locket, which looks quite valuable. But mm -hmm. he almost seems to be purposely keeping that bit hidden. That's fine. Oh, thank you yes. for the... Uh... Yes. The druid from inside sort of goes, whilst I'm not 100% uh, sure how long the ritual will take, I, you've probably got at least a day, um, I would think, based on how long I estimate the ritual. Could be a little bit less, could be a bit more, but I'd say around 12 hours, maybe. Mm. Enough to get a long rest in and get over there. Uh, mm -hmm. But is it better to go there now? Interrupted earlier. How expended are we? I spent a few of my spells in that comb. Yeah. Because you're like... Not exactly at half health, but she's kind of close to half health. I have spent basically none of my resources. I am. Um, we can possibly we can possibly send one of the um, the others up there to keep an eye on things and warn you if it starts getting close. It's not too long a journey to the hill. How long would it take to travel to from here? Uh, well, if you wanted to take a straight shot and cut through the woods, you can probably do it in... Hmm. Uh, he seems to be calculating. Uh, you can probably do it in an hour, just under an hour. Um, if you want to follow the road, um, uh, it's probably going to be just over an hour. So it's not ter it's not terribly far. No. So uh, even if we rest now, we still got time to get there without an issue. The so question really is, need to long sleep. Rest. An hour rest should be able to get us to physical strength. 
I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, out of game wise, I'm down two third level, uh, two third level spell slots, and down one oh, of my done. second. Yeah, I, I'm down two of my third level spell slots. One second and one first. Ah. <laughs> uh... How many third spell slots do you have? Help. I get. I've got three first level left. But that's two, all. I've got three first level. I've got two second and one third. That's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. I say we just take a rest and I mean we'll get there when we get there there's no I harm feel, in it I feel a rest would be beneficial for everyone regain our magic our abilities our health and just have a chance to rest I guess this will be the first time Katya's had a real place to rest. An actual place rather than a ramshackle some... room. Is that something you'd like, Katya? We could fill you in on what's brought us to this point. Yes, I actually would like that greatly. If that's all right. Yes. Well, you're, um, there's rooms upstairs. Uh, you're welcome to take any you like, apart from the one on the very end. Um, that one's... No, that one's mine. And you're not having my room. Um, mm. and I'll give you the others. I don't really care about Thank them. You. Thank you. Well, Thank so, you for your hospitality. Uh, back to you makes a gesture and he, you hear a locking of the door upstairs. James, yep. what's yep. the name well, of the... Sorry, go on. What's the name of what? The, the different names, the name of the uh, decent wine again. Uh, sh the most... There, yes, the, so the expensive is, one. <laughs> uh, Champagne de la Stomp. Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask if he has any of that available that we can uh, sample. <laughs> The, the the barrels we found of it were from 300 years ago when they were vinegar. Fair. He, he seems to pause for a moment considering that and it's like, 300 years? That doesn't make sense. I don't think we've what even been mean? producing that long. It, it's in, um, and he says where, we, where they found, where we found it in, um, uh, our own boss. Thank you. My brain didn't want to think of the name of it. Argenvost. We've never even shipped to Argenvost before. Hmm. Oh, there was... Outside of Barovia? Um, we've shipped to the Vistani, who might ship outside Barovia. Oh, uh, that might explain it. There's... How many barrels was there? Four? Makes sense. Wasn't it, James? Hmm. Must have been a big, um... <laughs> they were the big barrels. Yeah, they were, they were the big barrels. Uh, while yeah. everyone is talking, uh, Sigma will loot the druids and any corpses and drag them all outside to burn them. Yeah, there's not really anything um, majorly on um, the druids themselves. Um, they didn't come very well equipped. Um, there's one thing that Octavian will do for that. The one who, this one here, the dead one there. Yeah. I'm gonna. Octavian's yeah. gonna take take the mask that he was wearing. Okay. I'm also, just curiosity more than anything else. That is fair. I mean, it's a different aspect of druidism to what he's used to. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense.
Yeah, so um, you guys can um, go upstairs, find rooms, have a long rest. Um, he does bring you round each a small thimble full of champagne de la stomp. We don't have a lot. Um, unfortunately, we can't really produce it anymore without the seed. And what we've got is already mostly spoken for. Of course. Well, this uh, is so go... plenty, though. Thank you. Oh, thank so you. He will offer his thimble full to... Uh, he, looks at, he looks at Greed, and he looks at Octavian, and then he looks at Greed, then he looks at Octavian. <laughs> <laughs> looks back at Greed. Greed's hands are glowing with fire. <laughs> so Octavian's going to try something else. I cast so would Firebolt. You... <laughs> no, so Octavian is going to empty the alchemy jug of beer. Because it would be up for about the time it's due to renew. Mm -hmm. What would happen if I put this into the alchemy jug and then I tried making wine? Um, you don't know. You'll have to find out, I guess. Um... I'm going to look at Greed and go, or Octavian and go, can I have that thimble? Just in case this doesn't work. <laughs> and I will... Do you have an extra or mine in... you, you can have I'll... mine. Just with... I mean, this is out of like, view of the ravens. I don't want them seeing what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm trying to make their like top-of-the-range wine for nothing. But yeah, I'm going to pour it into the alchemy and then create wine. What happens, James? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Roll me an arcana check. This is really funny. Good. It's good. <laughs> the... The alchemy jar glows briefly. Why do you get the plus six in Arcana? Um, seems to let out a little puff of um, strangely coloured yet delicious smelling steam. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Nothing else seems to happen immediately. I will then activate the jug to make wine. Okay. As you pour the wine into a glass, it is a higher quality wine than before, but not quite to the same level as the Champagne de la Stomp. If okay. anything, it's probably gone from their lowest grade, which was called Purple Crush, to um, the middle grade, which is... Oh, Dragon God, something. Red Dragon... Something. something wasn't it yeah my red so yeah it would have tasted like purple grape smash number three it now tastes like red dragon crush let me take a sip and go oh greed you've got to try this and hand it over to him are you muted again cam maybe no you <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He'll just hand the alchemy jug over and go, try this. Oh, this isn't going to be one of your creations again, is it? I'll... No, I, I did that once. The, the mayonnaise wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I don't want to think about the mayonnaise. Uh, I'm going to like look for a glass or something, just something to pour it in. Something yeah, there'd be glasses civilized. here. You're in a winery. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll pour it out into to one of them. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's got a much deeper red colour than what it had uh, previously. Um, it's definitely a much higher quality. A wine colour. I he'll just take a sniff and then exhale and we'll take a swig. 
it tastes much better than uh, what it usually tastes like. Um, <laughs> this is almost on par with what um, you would drink back at your family home. Midswig, his eyes will glow and he'll fucking skull the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God! He'll pour himself another. <laughs> Yeah. And how much wine can one of those make again in a day? Um, I want to say it's like <sighs> can't remember how much. A gallon. It it's yeah. a gallon of wine. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. getting fucked oh, up. Oh, <laughs> we are getting fucked up. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh. in the background, you see Sigma dragging like bloody corpses outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when uh, it was beer, it was four gallons of beer that it, beer this held. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grab another a uh, glass or goblet and pour one for Octavian. Hand it to him. Thank you for this incredible gift. And we'll pour himself <laughs> another. Start sculling it. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think me and um, Greed are having a few drinks tonight. Oh yeah. Oh, well, yeah, considering you. his drinking partner is no longer with him, he needs a he needs a new drinking partner. He needs a good drinking partner. Yes. Yeah. It's That's still it. not rum, <laughs> but it's good. A businessman and a lieutenant. <laughs> Let's go. Mm -hmm. Katia will kind of approach these two. Feel free and... to join us. Greed hisses. Oh, I am. Um... <laughs> no, I'm joking. You're more I, than uh... welcome to. You're part of this uh, interesting family, after all. Thank you. She'll sit down and she'll, you know, get her glass. Greed will pour um... one for her. Yeah. Thank you. Octavian's going to stick his head out the door and sort of shout for Misha, are you joining us? Uh, in a bit. First we need to lay these bodies to rest, no. make sure they don't return. No, you should join us right now. We've had a long day. You deserve to take some weight off. I Come agree. join us. Come join us, please. On hearing sort of taking weight off, Octavian just sort of finally starts taking his like armor off, just unbuckling it. And... Yeah, <laughs> it's like unbuckling your pants at the, at the end of a long day, taking <sighs> uh -huh. off your bra. Like, oh. uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, considering like Octavian hasn't taken his armor off in like a couple of days, the smell. <laughs> well, he's in scale mail, so it's. Wait, do I? Yeah. You know, Oh, Sigma will say to Misha. Oh, I do. That, uh, I precipitation. Uh, I'm going to cast precipitation on Octavian. Thank you. <laughs> you should join the others. I can take care of the corpses. I'm not going to let you do this alone. When we're doing this together, it's going to be even faster. It's just the two of them. That'll be a quick right. Greed will uh, probably oh, see it. them out the window hauling and will take two glasses, will pour a couple of drinks, will walk mm -hmm. outside, just say, I understand that you two have a job to do. And once it's done, you can rest. But in the meantime, and it will set the two glasses down. Let's try and enjoy the peace while we have it. We at least deserve that. You definitely deserve some rest. Oh, I do. I haven't had my beauty sleep in so long. Look at me, I'm ragged. Is Reed's probably the best looking out of all of us. I know, yeah. And he's... He's yeah, like definitely. definitely. It's maybe like one hair out of line. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the, the, the messiest part is his hair isn't braided properly it's worked yeah. a little bit loose he probably <laughs> polishes yeah. his horns every night oh 100% <laughs> that's what you call it <laughs> <laughs> normally is, Belmar does it for him is that drink oh. for me Greed that is 
It, you would see like a like a like a strange like perk in uh like Sigma's ears. Pupils dilate. Because <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time that someone has directly offered Sigma the drink. Yeah, he in particular. He in fact you won't put it down. He will hold them out to both of you while you stood still. Kind of like when you go out to a contractor and you go and take him out tea and a biscuit, but it's <laughs> two glasses oh, of wine. But he's a glass of wine, yeah. <laughs> and he'll yeah, just hold them out to both of you. Yeah. Um well, Damien's gonna lean out the window and go, You're burning those and he'll hold up the jar of alchemist's fire. <laughs> put that away <laughs> before you burn the house down. Or the <laughs> fucking warehouse. <laughs> oh. Sigma slowly uh, grabs the cup and uh, he will drink some of it. I was going to say before Sigma takes it, he'll kind of like edge away from their hand for a second. It's like, but you promise mm. to come inside and relax once you're done. I can try to rest. And he'll hand over the glass. Yeah. Uh, you see his uh, Sigma's sort of long, slender fingers uh, go around this glass. Um, and you see as they hold it, like, close to themselves, like, like just, like, close to their chest for a minute um, before they bring it up to their their muzzle and drink from it. There's something... And the way their eyes sort of look up at you, um, they seem very, um, this is something you haven't quite seen from Sigma up to this point, before they almost kind of, like, 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 dodge their eyes away from you for a second. Um, oh, and you see there, to ask. you're good. Do you drink like a human or like a dog <laughs> or cat? You just lap it up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it definitely starts like uh, like just like the tongue like coming out, <laughs> and then it uh, it proceeds just... to get a little more refined as it goes on because it's it, it's almost as if he doesn't quite remember how to use a cup for a minute. Like, it's Green. been so long since he's actually used one himself. Greed probably, like, raises an eye for a second. <laughs> Just... <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> Just do it right. <laughs> um, but you, you see that, that heavy, um, that heavy mod tail, like, slowly, like, like, sway, like, side to side as they begin to just drink it just like calmly I guess this is the best way to describe it is this is the first time Sigma has seemed not on edge mm. so seeing that Grieve will uh, begin to walk inside or just say there's plenty more where that came from so just hurry up and finish up and then we can all just we can all chill I mean, there's eight pints to a gallon. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So we've got eight pints of worth of wine. A mega pint. At eight, oh, yeah. So it's like four mega pints, isn't it? Yeah. And Grieve but... will return inside, will lounge down into a chair with his glass. Say, what a day. Oh, this... It's almost four litres of wine for free a day. Wait, only four? I mean, that's a still gallon a fair amount. so much more. Oh We're not going over it, fucking fetching. What, one gallon is 3.78 litres. So, Katia, how has it been with your first day with this group? <laughs> Honestly, not at all. Not at all. Uh, Sorry, you're breaking well, up. Yeah. I've never really 
Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh my you're goodness. cutting in and out. Hello. <laughs> better. Hello, hello. Better. Am hello. I, am I okay? Yes. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> She's just going to go, oh, well, it's certainly not at all what I expected. <laughs> no, but I was just saying. Not in a bad way. It definitely not could be way, worse. Though. We're not dead. That's a good sign. Ain't that the truth? Here's to being alive. She'll hold up yeah. the glass. Yeah, Octavian. The glass looks very small in Octavian's hands, <laughs> but he'll raise a glass as well. Greed will look a little distant at that statement before breaking back, raising a glass and sipping. Almost fine. I hope so. We'll see, we'll, we'll see him soon. Just think he's got that little bit of a kid to look after. That's what I'm worried about. I know he can <laughs> take care of himself, but he's not so good in social situations. It was what I was, what I was here for. Well, it's the perfect chance to learn, isn't it? He learns to be social, you learn to do things for yourself. I just hope we can get this whole thing over and done with so I can get back to him and we can get out of this hellhole. Of course. Of course. Oh, yeah, oh, Dave's just going to sort of stretch in the seat and all you hear is just like his back sort of, like the, the vert, like his neck and back sort of crack. And... Oh, it's definitely the chair creaking. <laughs> <laughs> You're not sure if it's the chair or if it's like his back and neck from having armor on for like the past three days, but. <laughs> When Sigma walks back in, you see the fire behind him, and uh, the silhouette of Sigma against fire is always disconcerting, even if. <laughs> Are you okay, Sigma? Mm -hmm. Just the the pile of corpses on fire through the doorway. Oh, I'm sorry, you threw me for a second. I was like, oh, it's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm concerned. <laughs> Take C and. Greed will just slide a chair up next. Yeah. Or Damon's just gonna pull his pipe out and pack that and ignite it. Uh yeah, uh Sigma will just using all of uh, the fact that Sigma is extremely dexterous, he jumps up onto the seat and spins a few times before he sits down properly. Is he, like, is he very much like a cat trying to get comfortable when they sort of turn in circles? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, that's quite an image of a nine-foot-tall person doing that. Oh, yeah, the chair is leaning back and forth as he does so. Like, Basically, what it ends up with is Sigma is sitting on his knees on a chair. Probably yeah, that's, uh... I just Probably imagine he, has, it's like, he, he sits like L from Death Note. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <that's amazing>. oh. <laughs> uh, I think I think eventually Sigma would just get off the chair and then sit on the ground, like knees, uh, knees on the floor. But oh well. Ah, uh, well, I um um <laughs> sorry um. Uh, I want to propose something. Of course. What you is? see, um, as you mentioned, I'm part of this group now. And yet I barely know any of you all. And you don't know me either, though. So, um, there was this little game I used to play called, uh, the question game and essentially how the game goes is i ask you guys a question you would have to answer honestly and then you in turn would have to ask me a, a question and i would have to answer honestly um and well no. whoever decides to play chicken first is the loser sort of thing oh i love um, these kind of games 
Yeah, whoever do, whoever doesn't answer has to drink. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We I mean, that. Play, uh, that's we, another kind of game. I we, we played games like this when I was working, when I was on my ship. We did things like this to pass the time when we had not much to do. I'm game. It's a icebreaker, you could say. Of course. I'd be willing. Yeah. And you guys don't have to just ask me questions. You guys can ask each other questions too. Like it doesn't really matter per se, but you know. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I could go first to kind of set the example. I guess. That sounds um, perfect. Uh, I guess I could ask you guys all as a group, but I could ask you one at a time. Um, um, <laughs> Whichever you feel more comfortable doing. Single someone uh, out. You know what? I Sure. Um, I know you all mentioned how you guys got here, mm -hmm. but I never picked up on how exactly you guys got started on this quest of yours. Um, I guess my question would be, what made you guys target Strahd? He's all... From what we have been told, and we're aware that he's our way home. Remove Strahd, we can go home. He's a monster. Until a few days ago, he wasn't really my target. But now he made himself one. He's a bit of a, a dick swinger, I guess you could call him. He flaunts himself about this place. He intimidates everyone <laughs> that he throws himself in front of. And yet he's the biggest prick amongst everyone here. And we've met some right pricks. But he's a posh prick. Octavian just raises an eyebrow agreed at this. Oh, fuck him. He's so up himself. Look at that fucking castle. I've seen twice as big a castle. Every curse anyway. word yeah. you say it makes Kasia flinch. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. Greed's like several wines in, so it's probably going to get worse. Kasia's <laughs> sipping at her first cup. <laughs> yeah, I've taken probably a two or three glasses in at this point. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to quickly... Uh... Con check. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick con check to see exactly. <laughs> just, just see, just see. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. He's he's mediocre. But yeah, yes. when when do you want us to make uh, constitution checks, James? <laughs> I'm gonna allow That's you fine. to decide. That's fine. That's fine. I'm gonna see how the conversation goes and uh, depend yeah. on that. <laughs> um. So yes, it is. He's kind of made himself a target because, well, as Octavian said, he is our only way home. But he has proven himself to be an issue. A bit of a, a dictate, so to speak. The people here don't much take to him, and it is quite sad to see the lower of people being the majority here. Everyone deserves a chance, and it's not going to be a chance under Strahd's rule. Mm. I guess my question to you, he'll look around to the rest of the group, if you don't mind. Of course. No problem. Katia, mm -hmm. what is your affiliation with Strahd? Do you think that he should be removed from power? And why do you ask? 
That's two questions. I think it's all the same, darling. <laughs> she takes a deep breath. I suppose you all deserve the truth. It's just a game. She'll put her hand on her chest, the one that has the engagement ring on, that she's still wearing. I was in love with him. And I believed he loved me back. Can I, can he, I insight just very quickly on that first sentence? Sorry to, to break that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah, very, very quickly. Just, a, <laughs> just that in that sentence was quite powerful in itself. I, but the thing that I'm digging for is the, the sincerity behind her words, I guess is the best way to put it. Like, does she think it or does she know it? Kind of thing, I guess. He. Bryn? I mean, it's up to you on that with the role. That's a personal thing. Oh, or yes. something that I would decide. What's the number? What's the number? Uh, 18. 18. 18. Did you roll the, the chat? Yeah. I think Taylor's internet right. might be going whack. <laughs> You're cutting off. Yeah. So, oh no. Here, I'm going to leave the call and come back just to make oh. sure it's not a Discord thing. Gotcha. is really mulling over the question. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I Sorry. said that you can tell that she is telling the truth. And that she is being very sincere. I am. Um... He had lied to me. He he lied about a lot of things. <laughs> I. <laughs> I don't know if this is true or not, but I believe he was planning on turning me into what he is. I don't really know why, though. But well, isn't it quite obvious? He is obsessive. He always gets what he wants. Typical with every man, really. I gave up everything. And he lied. She's like blinking away back tears. <clears throat> And she, like, takes, like, a bigger, like, sip of her drink. <laughs> Reboot. Because he's always been a liar. <laughs> All right. My next question. <laughs> are you... Are you guys planning on killing him? It depends on what options he gives us. If he doesn't give us any options in order to leave this place, we don't really have a choice. It's what I was made for. If he is a scourge on this land, I think that will leave me no choice. But if... There is an alternative 
that will protect this place from him. I am open to suggestions. For the first time, you would see Sigma slightly shake his head uh, away from what Misha is saying, as if he's like throwing off a uh, the idea, like just sort of like mentally to himself. I understand. Um, your turn now. Would you stop us if we did? Or would you try to? She hesitates. Can I rephrase the question? I think it was phrased perfectly fine. Greed shakes his head a second, realizing what he just said, and um, will cough. <laughs> Apologies, Misha. Of course, by all means. Mm. Maybe would you rather we not kill him? I even now after he lied to you. Logically, yes. I he needs to be stopped. That what he's doing is wrong. The longer I stay away from him, the, the more I see the corruption that has plagued Barovia. But... There's just a part of me that sees him as a broken man. A broken man is the first thing that finds a way to become a monster. I want to stop him. And if his death is the only option, then I will accept it. Tyrant will unfortunately always be a tyrant. There's no changing what kind of man that he is, especially seeing the land that he has created. He's... I'm sure he has a good side to him. But we have to face facts. And this isn't a way to rule a plane or a country. Sometimes an end has to come. I agree. Anyway, perhaps we should move on to more light-hearted conversation. Octavian, I have a question for you. Well, of course, go on. What are your adorable daughter's names? You know, the really funny thing is, while this whole conversation was going on, I just Googled names for gift children. <laughs> nice. I had a this coming up. <laughs> uh... <laughs> And the names I came up with are Lysandra and Euphemia. Lysandra and Euphemia? Yes. Beautiful. Lysandra. Absolutely beautiful. They look exactly like your father and your mother. God. God, I hope not. <laughs> I'm not the best. <laughs> just sort of, just sort of move like, sort of brushes the mustache. Go, I hope they don't look like me. <laughs> a funny thing I believe I have a niece called Alessandra 
And it's like... It's a wonderful <laughs> thing that family can be. Really looks yeah. really solemn for a second before perking back up. Oh, well, Savian, your turn. I think he's going to look at me and go, I apologize now in case it brings up any, you know. But what was, your, what was your brother like? You've mentioned him, but we've never heard what he was like. He was well, he was a great hunter. Nimble, agile, way more than I would be. Great with a whip. I bet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Takes a swig of his wine. <laughs> Octavian just gives Green uh, like the, the meanest sort of side eye going. Uh, well, uh, he <laughs> yeah, if anything, he was the prodigy of my family. Um, they called him the young wolf because of how vicious he could be not losing his targets. Something to aspire to. Indeed. And he was the only family member that didn't abandon me. Nice to have family. He just sort of he just absentmindedly pulls out his pocket watch. Mm. Grieb will just tap Octavian's knee, just mm. give a smile. <laughs> Sir, uh, does that suffice? Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, it, it does. Uh, I well, while we're your doing this, Sigma, mm -hmm. we also we all call you by your number. Is there a, any real name that you probably be called by? Oh, I, I just assumed that Sigma was your name. So did I. Uh, no, it's not. It's. I, I feel like a dick. <laughs> it's an. I don't know. It's an experimentation designation. Oh. It was. Experimentation Sigma 9 in the. Vivisection series of experiments. But I don't think anyone's ever asked me my name. I apologize. I thought Sigma was your name. Mm, in a way, Sigma is the closest to a name he currently has. That's... No one ever cared to give me one, I guess. What would you like your name to be? Yeah, you can pick Fluffy. one out yourself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he should. He. They should be the one to pick it. Yeah. Uh, you would nope. see. Sigma tries to come up with something, and they just sort of shut their mouth, and uh, they'll take a drink of the wine, um, and they go, I'm sorry, I don't... I it's... never thought about it. It's okay. Take your time. There's no, there's no rush. Take your time, have a think, and let us know. 
when you make that decision. Uh, looking over at Greed and Octavian and Misha and even Katya, uh, Sigma sort of curls in on themselves almost and they look at everyone and ask, why are you all so nice to me? Because we have to, otherwise you might kill us in our sleep. Greed. <laughs> Octavian just gonna slap Greed around the back of the head at that. Oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Octavian will get up, walk over to, and, and, and you'll give him a hug and go, "Because we, you're our friend." And is he like a proper like bear hug sort of? You're a friend. You're close to a friend that we can get right now. Or rather, me. Why wouldn't we be kind? We only give back because what's given to us. Because I'm a tool. I'm Not a man. Man person. You, you may have been made in a lab. But you're not at all. You are you. You have your own thoughts and feelings, which, unlike, he'll hold up his wine glass, this glass, for example, it has no feeling, it has no meaning apart from to hold wine. You don't have one purpose. You have many purposes. But some of those are your own. You choose your own life. You choose your own path. You don't have to have somebody barking orders at you to do what well, whatever you want to fucking do. Just be yourself. People will love you for it. The more you act like a tool, the more you feel like one. Trust me, I've been there. You don't want to be a number. People will walk all over you. Uh, Greed, you feel for the first time acutely aware as you say this. Like you say the phrase, people will walk all over you. You feel as Sigma's eyes dart down to your amulet, up to you, and then directly away. Ooh. And mm. they just sort of go quiet. So you have nothing to worry about. Just be yourself. We're all in this together. We're all, we're all here together. Yeah, and when we get out of this godforsaken place, as I said before, you're all welcome to join me. And I'll give a look over at catching go. That goes for you as well. She smiles. Softly. Thank you. I have to work out the whole timeline and time inconsistencies <laughs> and and whatnot, but we'll we'll work that out. When we well, get there. Hmm. If things are different, Octavian. Would you come for me anyway? Of course. That's two questions. Take a shot. I'll <laughs> give <laughs> <laughs> no, you just hand Sigma another wine glass. Go on, drink up. <laughs> I guess that makes it Sigma's turn. Yes. Oh, sorry. Name to be decided's turn. No, he already asked you questions. Hmm? Oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Well, he, they did ask Octavian a question. Mm -hmm. So this is Octavian. Oh God. So look we go. So what was your home town city plane? I don't know what how you would call it like. 
the best. <laughs> uh, sorry, who was that to? Yeah, who was you, that to? Do you agree? Oh, to me? Uh, what yeah. was my hometown like? Yeah, he's just, yeah, just asking and... Mm. Busy. So busy. My... Hmm. How to explain this? Is this before or after I left my family? Oh, wait. You know, to agree with where you is so nonchalant. <laughs> where, where you, wherever you would call home. Well, home is wherever business takes me. You see, I travel around quite a lot, selling merchandise, but buying merchandise. I never really found a true place that I would call home. But every, everywhere I went was a giant city bustling with people, loud noises everywhere you go. I'm used to, I'm used to the busy life, but I've never really stuck around for too long. Not for a very long time, anyway. You see him thinking quite a bit. But I don't mind it anyway. I mean, I've met some incredible people and some awful people. Uh, but it's, um, it's taken me away from my past and has led me on to a bright future he turns around and looks out the window never mind it's left me up in a fucking slum like i started in but anyway we move as soon as we get another job done another one opens up so yes i do like to keep moving that's fair enough hopefully that answered your question yes Yes, it did. Well, I guess it's my turn. I'll go back to Katia, if you wouldn't mind. I don't mind. What kind of place would you like to be if you got out of this hellhole? I mean, this... Barovia. Tell me. I don't know, actually. Have you ever even been into a city? Well, I grew up in a city. But I am... Um... No, that's two questions. <laughs> Yet you still answered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll put my tricks away. <laughs> no, you're fine. Well, I, I can answer both. I think I would like to see the ocean. I've seen them in, I've seen them in pictures, but I've never seen it. Oh, you're definitely coming back with me then at some point. <laughs> That's where my, my home is. On board a cruise ship? No, just, just off the beach. I, Out the um, front door, sand, sea. And and for your second question, um, uh, it, it's uh, I never even left my hometown until uh, until. Straw took me to Ravenloft. Can't imagine there was much to see up there. The view from the tower is incredible. You could see everything. All of the despair and hopelessness that it casts upon the people. 
I was talking more about the landscaping. Well, that too, of course. What teams gonna look? Sorry, go. Sorry. I go on. It's all right. (laughs) I honestly think Rovia is beautiful, even with the mist. It is rather quaint. A certain charm to it. When you're used to seeing stone walls, it's nice. I seem to find my own beauty in the stone walls. Um, I suppose my question is for hmm Misha hmm yeah oh sorry what was the question I haven't asked it yet okay (laughs) overly keen this one why did you trust me right away I was a total stranger, a prisoner in your own home. And yet, you were confident that I was innocent. Why? If I were to doubt anyone in front of me in need, then I wouldn't be able to help anyone at all. If because he likes you. (laughs) Right, that's it, Greed. You're cut off. No! You will lift the, the alchemy jug out of the I'm only joking, I'm only joking, I'm only joking. <laughs> One I... more comment like it, and you're going on timeout. I suggest you never take my glass away from me. Oh, you still got the glass, so you just took the... Make a wisdom save, Octavian. <laughs> <laughs> You're really going to make me do a wisdom save. Yeah, we're about to yeah. take a long rest, may as well. <laughs> That's a fail. Oh, That's a failure. That's a failure. Yeah, it's a failure. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh hold on. Oh, no, wait, it's a success. No, 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 it, no this is a failure. failure. 16 DC. Hold on. I'm going to bonus action hex. <laughs> That's about no. Fuck's sake. <laughs> what is this? I get to add plus five to my roll because of how I rolled my wheel and woe. Alright, hold on, give me a second. Uh, 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 uh. I am mm. going to... Wait. I'm going to do my pack to the talisman. <laughs> About yes. And, well, what what nice. does that do? That doesn't boost no, come on, just allow it this here. time, James. <laughs> just allow it this time, James. Come on, man. The DM be quiet for this one. <laughs> okay. uh, in fact, no, but I can do, uh, I can do Dark One Zone Luck, I'm pretty sure. Can ability check or a saving throw? You can use this for. Uh, uh, you're you're not oh, making you a saving throw so or ability you... check. Huh? You're not making the ability throw making... or the saving check. I am. Yeah, that's the problem. You're. <laughs> Um, Can I just make him the only him? thing that would work in this situation is if you'd cast Bane beforehand, I think, or if you were oh. a bard and had cutting words. Okay, all right, <laughs> never mind. I'm gonna pick myself up. Uh, the only reason he made a save is because I have my aura active. Sorry, I can try again. <laughs> oh, is the aura actually working now? Yeah, it is. It is. It is the, the plus five on the saving throw. It would have been a nine otherwise. Mm. Okay, I can just say, please oh. don't cut me off. And I'll charm person. I have a plus 12 to my wisdom saving throws. At the moment, yes. Yeah, because of me. Oh, well, you're welcome. okay. Thank you. Sorry. It's because anyway. your paladin's right here. Anyway, continue, continue. Okay, what does charm. Don't worry what? about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Forget about uh... it. I believe it's not too uh, 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 Katja asked Misha, 
why I saved her without asking questions and just trusting her. Yeah. No, like why so you? Yeah, why? Yeah. So it'll be your turn. Uh, is my answer satisfying? Uh, y yes. Okay. Then I have a question for Greet. Um, have you always been named Greet? Is that what your parents named you when you were born? James, I'm going to need to DM you right now. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Even I'm a little confused. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> okay. Um, we're getting... <laughs> We're revealing stuff even the DM doesn't know, or might not know. <laughs> Dramatic gasp, thunder yes, clapping. Right. <gasps> <laughs> dun dun dun! His real name is Mephisto Phillies. <laughs> Mister Mistopheles. Magical Mr. Mistopheles. <laughs> Kevin. Name's Jeff Quiet. Reed seems in deep thought as they attempt to work out how to answer your question. <laughs> That's where we end the session. <laughs> I didn't realize it was such a deep question. <laughs> yeah, so Reed will. Yeah, just been thinking hard. That's... Hmm. I mean, I've always had the name Greed, as far as I can remember. There's... Yeah. Inside check. Inside check. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, under, so that's actually Cameron trying to find a way to put it, but the, imagine there's so much more nonchalant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna... My, my I, 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 I thought, I'm I not thought a virtue name is a name you gave yourself. Which makes this answer confusing. I feel really bad, but I really want to rephrase my answer because that is not the way that it would have been said at all. Like that—that's just me fucking minor retro. Go ahead, fucking mm -hmm. talk. Go for it. I'll <sighs> press the rewind button. Yeah. Just treat our insights as whatever they are. So. <laughs> Stop rolling insights. <laughs> uh, I will. I will take those insights anyway because greed will say it was a name that I gave myself because I needed to have something that was outlandish that stood out in a crowd. After all, I am a businessman, so I had to have something that was memorable. And after all, who isn't going to remember a name like greed? After all. And to your insight checks, 
Um, Mace or not, Octavian, uh, it's it seems fairly straightforward. You know, yeah, it is very it is. straightforward. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like, this, this, this is, totally makes sense. Yeah, this is kind of something where it's like his parents probably gave him a name, and he was like, "No, I'm cool." Uh, yeah, I, I'm or... I'm way too cool to be a Kevin. I'm gonna be called Greed hmm. now. Nah, his real name had too many apostrophes in it. That's what it was. Uh, for Sigma uh... and Katia, uh, Greed although showing a lot of confidence in what he is saying. And yes, it does make sense as to what he is saying. It sounds like something Greed would come up with to make himself stand out. In those words, he has a tiny bit of hesitation as kind of like he's announcing it. He's, he's putting it forward, but he's pushing it too far into the front. Like, it's so in your face that obviously there's got to be something behind it. So his words are somewhat hollowed, if that makes sense. Yeah, makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. cool. mm -hmm. All right, that's yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. Trying to explain it in my yep. own head to myself and put it out. <laughs> that makes sense. It, it, there's some yeah. deception, but it's not entirely deception. It's it's kind of like straightforward deception. Like he's meaningful in the words that he's given, but yeah, I don't know. He's the words may be something. the words may be true, but there's some aspect of it that he isn't. Being yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, it's your turn. Oh God. Um. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go over to Misha. So what was your family most famous for? I'm sorry to, of course, bring up your family, but they follow along with you with your name. So I thought it might be worthwhile asking. Um, it's not that my family itself was famous. Um, most common folk probably would have never heard of the light brands. I'm surprised this many people we encountered actually knew of them. Um, but basically we are supposed to be protectors, investigators. If there were outbreaks. We'd make sure that the civilians were kept out of harm from lichen, vampires, revenants. Sounds like they were vigilantes of such. We can mm, in a way. Though I would say that, um, unlike, say, brew vigilantes, like the likes of, say, Batman, etc., yeah, um, the not... light brand would have been more officially sanctioned yeah. for their um, work. Like, they would, they would have had ties to um, legitimate groups like the Harpers, etc. Um, that's the one that comes to mind mm -hmm. immediately. I'm sure there's others. Yeah. Uh, the Lord Alliance. Um, Prob yeah, and... we would have connections with the Lord Alliance or the Harpers, and those Town... are probably Town our main major hmm? city. Town guards in every major city. Hmm. I mean, that's true, the Lord Alliance. Yeah. Um, probably wouldn't have ties with the Centurim. Uh, Not another... really, no. There's another big, like, Group that's like positive, but I can't think of the names. Uh, the uh, Flaming Fist, and those are mercenaries. Uh, there's the wouldn't be Xanathar. Isn't Xanathar part of Lord's Alliance? No, Xanathar has their own. Thing. Also, 
knowing the nature of Senator, I'm pretty sure we are not aligned with them. No. It's not that we are vigilante, it's just that we are working from shadows, sanctioned by the government, sanctioned by the temples. I see. Yeah. I'm going to say that at this point, there is a... Um... A voice speaks up um, in this area, and it's just, and you see that one of, did you say you'd gone to one of the rooms, or are you still downstairs? I can't remember where you we said. Would've, we would have gone to whichever. I like, would have thought we would have gone to one of like the large rooms, sort of upstairs. Mm. Uh, yeah. There is actually a dining area upstairs, so I'll say you're there. I'm not actually going to move you on the map. Um, Make sure but... that makes sense. Uh, a um, there is you see a raven at the window just sort of creaking open, and it just goes, I've got a question mm -hmm. it's for you, little lady. Huh? Okay, uh, let me finish my question. Like... Okay, okay, little raven, tell me what is your question. I was going to ask her what the hell she sees in Strahd. I mean, damn. I mean, he's handsome, but uh, to some, but other than that, I'm a bit of a dick. <laughs> Thank you. Do somebody understand what I'm saying? Do, do I really have to answer that? I mean, that's the game, right? I think we'll hold Katya a, uh, a glass of wine if she doesn't want to answer. <laughs> she damn I mean, you're in my answers. damn winery. I feel I can ask <laughs> her questions. Oh, we don't it's judge. A... No, it's just... Uh, complicated. Well, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. You I'm so a sorry. Big complicated. Oh. Oh. oh uh, I don't know. I. I don't think you would believe me. I don't think we would either. He saved... He saved my life. Hmm. Yep, that, 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 that's it. <laughs> saved your life. Hmm. Mm, how? Oh, I guess that's another question. She looks to the group. Oh, that's... That, that, that's two questions. Very well. I know what my next question is going to be. <laughs> Um, Go ahead then. What's your question? Oh, course, yes, first. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of one. Yes. What's your question? Where is the bathroom? That's <laughs> 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 actually really good. Uh, uh, there was an outhouse. Ground floor mm -hmm. over there. Yes. 
We don't believe in sewers round here. Uh, we prefer to use it as fertilizer. <laughs> well, okay. Um. Oh, I have a good. I have a question. Shoot. You guys mentioned Adalia a few times, and I believe I was told that she was a bit of a. She made Sigma. Correct? She's the head of the research division. She contributed to my making. Okayed the project. Do you guys trust her? As far as I can throw her. So, I mean, you're, you're pretty strong, Misha. I, I believe you might be able throw a, a uh, human woman uh, for all you've mentioned Strahd you haven't seen Sigma flinch at all but you, as soon as you bring up the idea of trusting Dahlia you see on one side Sigma is nodding but on the other side you see that their eyes are glazed with fear I'm sorry. Um. Hmm. The situation with Dahlia. I might have said this earlier. She is my aunt. She's ruthless. Though she might not speak falsehoods, she has her own agenda. She works for the greater good. No matter how many people she has to cut down to do it. Except the greater goods doesn't always mean good. The balance between good and evil is fragile. Even with good intentions, one can easily be corrupted. Which is to say, I don't necessarily trust her ways. Third thing. You ever told me? What is it? That is, if I lose control, she would cut me down before I finished. I'm so sorry. It's just the way of the world, is it not? If only it was. Meanwhile, here I am, obsessing over a pointless amulet. I'm sorry. It's your amulet. Hello. Hmm. I, I knew he was bloody muted again. Sorry, I missed that. Your amulet got mentioned multiple times. Uh... <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry, I stepped away for a second. <laughs> uh, Sigma's admonishing himself for obsessing over a quote-unquote useless amulet. 
Yes. Uh, Misha will move closer to Sigma and gently pat him on the head. It's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. Or David's going to do what he does best and pour him another glass of wine. Fair. <laughs> How much this I, can, I can imagine Sigma flinching when he sees Misha's hand being raised. Oh, absolutely. Uh, oh. Honestly, I think I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to. I'm going to do something. Uh oh. Dun, dun, uh oh. Dun. What? Wow. I'm not counting your aura. Uh, That's still a that should be a success. That'd be fourteen. You should be counting my aura because oh. I want you to. If he's seeing you as a light brand in this moment, he doesn't see you as an ally. You would see a sigma. Falls back to the floor, uh, almost cowering for a moment as he begins. I'm sorry, I just can't forget about it. I, I keep thinking about it. Sigma. Yeah. Don't see oh, that. In the eye. Sigma. I I think like you you see like Sigma's like between this door and this corner, like the chair is like fallen to the side. He's got his hands like over his face. <sighs> I have to see Dark hands. On your shoulders, kneel down, Sigma. It is okay. That's what part being human is about. Yeah, Octavian will kneel down sort of next to Sigma and sort of comfort him and go, he's not gonna he's not gonna lay a hand on you because if he does, I'll lay one on him. It's sort of almost like a joking sort of it's like, come on, you've known you know he's not gonna hurt you. None of us are gonna hurt you. He's just really sort of trying to comfort him. Like, Octavian is very much being a parent right now. Uh, <laughs> I think at this point you would see Sigma is genuinely crying. Octavian just sort of, sort of pulling sort of to him and giving him a hug and just sort of like uh, holding sort of kind of that comfort. And he will look at Greed and say, why did you take it? Mm. It was the first time I felt that way. Oh. Wait, what's going on? Misha sincerely does not know. It was the first time I ever saw myself. And you took it. Was it really yours to take? I found it. Sigma, you merely mentioned that it was just a useless amulet. 
And besides, he gestures back to you. You've been gifted a much grander one. Some things are just destined to be. I think Octavian, you'd be able to feel that on one side, Sigma is... like afraid on the other side you feel mm -hmm. sigma's hands are hold like like almost holding you like a like a tree like like he's holding himself like something in himself back he's just gonna do what he can just to try and comfort comfort him but also not pick a side because he doesn't want to get sort of involved in between this with the with you two. He doesn't want to have to like pick a side. He's just trying to sort of comfort Sigma the same as the same way he would with his own children who are have who are you know scared or yeah you know, that sort of thing. If it's riches you want, or something to separate yourself for what you think that you are or what you think others think you are i can give you tenfold as soon as we are out of this place this amulet yes subjectively it is nice has grounded me it's the one thing that has made me able to keep my sanity within this place I appreciate that you found it where it lay. However, it's not what destiny chose. The amulet belongs to me. I think at this point, Octavian, you would feel as Sigma's claws are almost digging into your arm. Oh, I wish I kept the armor on. <laughs> He's not letting it sort of be known that it's, you know, it's hurting him. He doesn't want Sigma to know that it's borderline hurting him. Um, He's just going to keep trying to comfort him and get him to sort of relax and calm. And just hold him like he would. Yeah, it's sort of all he can really do. I think it's time you got some rest. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. I think rest would be a good idea for all of us. Y yes. I think we all deserve some sleep. So even look at Sigma and go, I'll stay with you if you need me to. He just sort of looks down at Sigma. So if you need me to stay with you, I, I will. I would say, as you look at Sigma, you would see he looks almost more hurt than before. I don't know what to do. And he will calmly go, you should rest. Uh, 
you can roll an insight if you want to know more about what he's thinking, but... Oh, 100%. That sound looks like 20. Yes, it is. Sigma 100%. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Greed just doesn't care. <laughs> Take my thought by bringing it up, Greed would make a different decision. He thought Greed was his friend. Question, sort of out of game moment. Cam, would sort of it have been made known that this amulet is what your channel through? Uh, so you would have seen uh, when he makes some magical per se decisions. Uh, so, for example, when he was uh, trying to convince you to, <laughs> mm-hmm. uh-huh. uh, yeah, uh, you would have seen his eyes glow as well as the amulet. So his magic is channeling through both now. Whereas uh, prior to all of this, it would have just been yeah himself. So it'd be right to assume that Octavian would know that that has become effectively his magical focus. You would see that the two are now paired, yeah. Especially considering, obviously, for Octavian, his is his star charts. He knows with the thing. And especially after the first... Uh, the first night where Sigma managed to steal it away from Greed, uh, the hysterics mm-hmm. and the clear, almost like loss of a limb kind of yeah. reaction. Uh, yeah, you can tell that something is, something is now attached. Okay. So, I mean, I'm... but yeah, no one okay. so far has asked in regards. Asked? No. But Octavian would know enough to be able to put two and two together. Correct. Okay, and that's sort of something he would sort of explain to Sigma. That it seems to be what greed focuses his magic through. It's what I'm assuming this would be done out of room and... Oh yeah, this would be this would be done sort of out of room quietly. Yeah. Sort of. Hmm. Yeah, he, he says, tucking him into bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, uh, the, the thing is, Sigma doesn't. Sigma sleep. doesn't sleep, but yeah, it'd be sort of. He'd be explaining it in the sense of using his star chart as an example as well. The fact that it seems that his magic has become bound to the artifact or to the amulet, same as. It is with, with Octavian star chart, and to lose to lose that is virtually impossible because it can be returned by means of magical means. I uh, I think as you explain this, it would only like you you'd only see Sigma get more upset as Sigma says, "I'd give all the money I'd have to have it back." I know you would. And there, unfortunately, it's, it's bound to him. It it would be like I'll do sort of think about it for a moment and go, and I'm looking. Go, how important are your daggers to you, like your cleavers? Could you be without them? Could you do what you need to do without without those in your possession? Sigma looks at Octavian and says, They're just tools. You say they're just tools. So, the amulet to Octavian to greed is what you are to me. Something irreplaceable. It cannot be replaced by any means or anyone. Yeah. Yes, you found it first, and what happened should not have happened. However, it has, and it is a item that has become bound to him magically. 
it is in, it's an item that has been engraved on his very being. And he sort of, not not unkindly, but he looks at someone and goes, of all people, you should know what it's like to have things bound to your being. Sort of meaning the different, like, per, you know, sort of the different personalities within him. I know what I'm saying isn't helping you. It's probably making you feel worse, but you also need to understand it's, it's something he cannot return because it is a part of him. Just as much as I couldn't give away my, my chart of the photo of my children, in, it is a part of me. I'm oh, really sorry just to clarify. You're good. So mm -hmm. through through this, I agreed would have stayed in the the lounging area, and had uh, kept the jug of wine. <laughs> of course, you do. Uh, and would have stayed within there should anybody else stay. I should be getting ready to go upstairs, but I feel like she hadn't quite left fight yet. Like she had put her glass away. She probably drank barely <laughs> half of her one cup, you know. Mm. And she'll ask, "What was that about?" Oh. There's some bad blood from. The first couple of days that we had met, we ended us in... Oh, greed is slurring his words, as you can see he's uh, slowly <laughs> slipping down that dangerous slope into drunkard. Um, we had stumbled across this shithole of a place uh, owned by... Uh, what were they called, Misha? Oh, the, the Durst house. The Durst, yes, and Dirty was their hearst. <laughs> it was an interesting place. We all nearly died. We saw some uh. ghost children, and... Uh, anyway, we stumbled across one of the rooms, and Sigma had found an amulet. And at first I thought it was merely monetary, so I I asked if I could wear it. They put it on me, and it, it looked nice. I didn't really have any intention of... Oh my god, one of my CSGO skins just sold for 23 quid. Get in! Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, a little sidetracked at that. Uh... So up. I never. <laughs> Sorry, that's huge. That's been on the market for literally months. Oh, I'm going to break the fourth wall. Congrats, Cam. Here. So, sober up. I I had no monetary connection to it, but as soon as they put it around my neck. I. I guess I felt something. Someone reach out. It. I guess it hadn't been anything like I had felt before. Um, Misha and Cassia, feel free to roll in side checks. Inside, inside, there it is. Oh, wow. fuck's sake, Misha. God damn it. <laughs> and cut here when you're ready. 
you can opt out to fail. Uh, succeed. What the oh. fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, so greed is telling yep. the utmost truth. <laughs> um, so in this moment, greed, as he's speaking, and he mentions he felt a connection. Uh huh. He hesitates, and you see a uh, kind of like him swallow hard. There's almost like he hasn't feared. Re he hasn't really shown fear, especially to you, Misha. He hasn't shown any like genuine fear. Okay, what was the thing this... with the uh, five vampire spot again? Uh, well, that, that... the spider crabs. <laughs> no, the spider crabs was Cameron. The spider crabs were <laughs> they, they 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 were cute. So, because even in a time like with the spawn, the way that he re he reacted was out of uh was out preservation. of survival. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Preservation. So, because he knew he was in a space where it's like, this is not going well. We are... I Sorry, not we are. I am getting out. Um, That was his self-preservation. This is genuine hardline fear of what you don't know. Uh, Katia, you don't know Agreed. So seeing this, it's very out of character for how you've known him for the short period of time. Um, James, if you can think of anything else I can give, because it was two natural 20s. Yeah. Uh, do you give any hints or tips? Ooh, that's... Um, you're raising the interesting question there. Um, yeah, because it's really think... hard to gauge it from a from an insight check. Yeah, so what would this be? Um, so as I'd say, whilst fear is the right word, it's not necessarily a fear of what they said but more what they haven't said and could be said, if that makes sense. Like, um, what could be revealed if you all dig a little deeper. Um, like, there's a secret there that they're not willing to share that they feel could change your opinion on them, I would think. Mm. Uh, she won't ask. Can I define sense as a reaction on this? Oh. This fear, it gives me... What's the word? Um, the idea that maybe talisman might be possessed that okay. he has a similar friend that I have hmm, but one that's... with a no different kind of connect hey that's I guess the, a gut feeling I get yeah. from your reaction it's probably mm. closer to um, you don't really get, I would say, you're probably not going to get anything with divine sense on this, apart from that, you probably pick up that, um, perhaps you pick up, like, you can obviously sense greed because they would be a fiend mm -hmm. to some extent, yeah. uh, like, to a lesser extent. But there is sort of perhaps more of a focus of that fiendish energy around the amulet. Not in a 
but it doesn't seem necessarily different to greed if that makes sense like it's almost like greed amplified mm. and sorry Katya so, so... question yeah I don't remember what the question was. No. Oh no. Sorry. It's all good. It's all good. Um, but yeah, that's probably what you're getting, I would say. That makes so, sense. Uh, so there is some fiendish residue on the amulet, but it's like the extension of greed itself. Yeah, so it's a yeah, it's difference. It's okay. Extension to the aura. Yeah. Yeah. And like, um, oh. probably a good way I'm of making... thinking of it is if, if you think of like a fruit juice that's diluted, this is like where this is, it's like more concentrated, so it's like less diluted, if that makes sense. Mm. <laughs> what, a, what a way to explain it. Yeah. And so Greed will finish. And so from my understanding is that Sigma, of course, came from a unfortunate upbringing. And so when I took the amulet, I feel like that they had grown an attachment, although as a whole, I guess, stealing is wrong anyway, from where we got it from. But I don't think they quite understand the extent of what this really is. I'm sure they'll grow out of it. You speak as if they are a child. When they act like one, yes. I do not mean to. And I do not mean any ill will to them. However, they have stolen me once before, so forgive me if I'm not trusting. No, I understand. And now I know how... I no longer have somebody to. Watch Sorry, over what? Me. Stolen before? Yes. Yeah, Sigma stole the amulet from mm. Greek in his sleep before. Uh, did he con. I, I don't remember him confessing that part uh, to Greed. Only Octavian saw through it back then. Only Octavian is the one that knows about that part. Yeah, right? and Octavian didn't say anything about it. Oh, my apologies. My apologies. I ignore that. Yeah, so that retcon with that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Retcon on that. It was taken from me once before. I see. Oh, shit. What the fuck fell? I'm sorry. Uh... Did you also get a CSGO skin sale? We have to go clean up a really big mess. Oh no. Oh no. Is that like. God damn, I thought he always told me. No, Octavian didn't say that because he didn't want to cause any drama. Create any in cause yeah, a rift exactly. in the party. I mean... yeah. Is there a. I mean, you could potentially yeah, the piece it together put because two and two only... together and yeah, possibly, yeah. but there's no In proof fact, of that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it, stick to my guns and say I didn't. I'm not going to directly say Sigma took it, but I'm gonna say that it was taken before. I'm sorry if I'm not that trusting. Uh, yeah, but that's. I mean, you don't need to roll an inside check to know that, of course, Greed being a <laughs> businessman, you know, when you're dealing with assets, I'm sure 
like you always have to keep your cards close to your chest kind of thing yeah not to mention all of us but catty the saw uh, the rampage greed went on yeah 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 but i think with that and a long rest happening and with that uh, rift forming in the party, unless there's anything else anyone desperately wants to do. Um, yes, I rec ask reclaim the alchemy jug. jug. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's for you. Yeah, just reclaim the alchemy jug before Greed walks off with it. <laughs> oh. My jug. probably going to be uh, blunt with Karcha when uh, Taylor returns. There's one okay. question left. Yeah, Octavian goes down and goes, is there any more wine left? And he'll, he'll pick up the jug and give it a shake. Oh, do I hear a tailor returning? How much wine is left out of the three and a half, or nearly four litres, James? Like about a, a quarter of a litre. Just shakes it. Just... Yeah, that, 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 that's not even half a cup. Just gives Greed a look of really. <laughs> <laughs> it goes, the rest of this is mine. Okay. It puts it under his arm. I thought it refills every day. It does. It does. But yeah. that's not the point. Got time. I mean, after all, we are in a winery. You tell the were ravens that you're going to crack into their supply, and I will watch them pick your your pretty little eyes out. Maybe I'll ask them later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I will. Uh, we were promised a lifetime supply of wine at the Blue Water Inn. That's very true. That is a very good point. Yeah, Octavian's going to go back up to sit with Sigma and pull out a pipe and just light that and comfort him before basically falling asleep holding Sigma. <laughs> I think Sigma is looking blankly ahead just with the amulet he got from Madame Eva, just looking at it. Yeah, As... You're looking at the amulet um, and staring into it. Um, you feel a, um, almost a slight pull um, to, to, from where you are, let me just work this out. Um, Almost like a connection to something to the southeast. Almost like it wants to go somewhere. Sorry, the amulet wants to go somewhere. Yes, Sigma's amulet in this case. Um... Though, interestingly, Greed. Your amulet, as you're perhaps sitting here, um, the others, and perhaps you'll notice that the glow of it is also only sort of fully glowing in one section, which would also be pointing to the southeast. Can I do a insight, like to look at that and think and pull out my star charts if that's doing anything? Just more um, out of sheer coincidence. <laughs> in this case, no. Your star chart oh. doesn't seem to be reacting. In fact, your if your star chart is reacting in any way, mm -hmm. it is um, forming um, the star sign of the tr or the celestial pattern of um, constellation. That's the word of the tree, and the tree is facing south. Enough fun. Okay, I'll just look at Greed and go. Yours is saying southeast. Mine's 
pointing towards what I would assume is the gulf estuary. He'll just sort of, he'll point at Greed's amulet and point out the glowing. Hmm. And he'll show his star chart with the uh, constellation of the tree to the south. Yeah. And Misha, interestingly, as your flare is sort of hanging by your side, how it's sort of sort. It sort of jiggles slightly and also ends up pointing to the southeast. Party, Do you guys want to know what's southeast? Uh, oh, Coach has returns. I have one last question for you, I believe, before we wrap up yeah. the session. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That was Taylor, not Coach. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you have a question for me? You mentioned that you fell in love with Strahd because, quote-unquote, he saved you. What does it make us? What? I hope you don't fall in love too uh, easy. I'll tell you, just chuckle <laughs> and, uh, upon hearing uh, this question and walk upstairs <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, good night, and he will walk off. You, you just hear, like, Octavian gets to the top of the stairs, round the corner, and he's just full on belly laughing. <laughs> Patsy is um, laughing too. Yeah. And with that, we shall end tonight's session. Um, so, Whoa, we survived. Away. None of us died. Hold on, oh. hold on, hold on. There was a before you do. Yeah, Sigma. Uh, Octavian, I think for the first time you find Sigma sleeping. <gasps> seeing, yeah, seeing that Octavian will creep in as quietly as possible and just lay down on the floor next to his Sigma. Finishing the wine, of course. <laughs> rather sweet and yet also sad moment. Um, we will end tonight's session. Um, join us tomorrow for the Icewind Dale group. Uh, Sunday for the Icewind mm -hmm. Trekkers group, also an Icewind Dale. Monday for the Jumping Junipers, and we'll be back again next Tuesday. Bye for now. Bye-bye.